Okay, hi, this is tutorial 13, uh, the last of the beginner's tutorials. Uh, after this, we go on to actually drawing a full house plan. Okay, so in tutorial 12, we had uh, gone into a layout. I renamed it page 1. Um, again, this is paper space. That's a piece of paper. We cut through paper space making uh, views, and we use the M view or make view command. Okay, we made these views. We uh, used properties to scale these views to a quarter inch equals one foot. Um, we got all that set up, and we we drew a sort of title block there. We left a title block area. There could be one down at the bottom as well. Um, it's time to print. So I'm in the layout and when I'm in a layout okay I've, I've actually got it if I click back here I go back into model space so I'm in my page one layout and I right click right on that layout tab and it gives me another menu um, which I can get page setup manager <clears throat> okay so page setup manager um, it's showing me the layouts that I have in my drawing layout 2 which I'm not using in page 1 which I just made I'm going to modify um, this setup. We've already set it so that the plotter will be, um, we're going from uh, DWG to PDF. Okay, that's going to be our printer. Um, we've set up the paper to architectural D, which is 36 inches wide by 24 inches high. You can see a picture of it here. Okay, we're going to plot or print the layout. Okay, uh, we're not going to offset this plot on that paper at all. We're going to plot one to one. So what we see on our paper is actually what we're going to plot. We've already scaled the views. Um, so we don't need to scale the paper. And all the rest of these things we're going to leave. We're in landscape. Okay, up here, this is where we ended off uh, in tutorial 12. This is what I was looking for. This is a plot style table. Um, basically we have set up all our um, thicknesses of lines line types and, and colors and so on um, in our layers and we've been doing that since the beginning what this does what this file does uh, monochrome which is black and white um, dot ctb which is color dependent uh, plot style okay yeah, I picked it out of there's AutoCAD um, there's colors um, there's a grayscale and I picked monochrome and this is what monochrome is this is a, um, a form view of this file it's just taking all the colors okay that AutoCAD would use or that I've used um, and turning them over here to black Okay, so if you click on a, a color purple, again, uh, this this will plot because of this plot plot style table um, will plot black all the way through. Okay, so this can be changed if you want some color. Uh, you can make your own plot style table and do whatever you want. Uh, but I want my end result coming out of my printer to be black and white. Okay, uh, this little check mark here, if I press, I uncheck it and I press OK and close, you can see I'm back the way I was. There's my colors. Okay, if I spacebar back into it, go modify, click this, display my plot styles, and go OK. So there's displaying what I'm going to print. Okay, black and white. Okay. Uh, so we've got that set up. The next thing that we need to do is plot. Okay, so I have gone into uh, the PGP file and changed um, what we used to have to do to PP. Okay, PP opens up print plot. <clears throat> it looks very similar to, to the dialog box that we were just in, but this is going straight to our printer. Here we can change properties of the printer just like in any other software that you use. Here we've already set up the, the paper. Here we've set out, we're plotting layout, we're not offsetting, we're one to one. Uh, fit to paper we don't need because we know it does. Um, 36 by 24. We're ready to go. Okay, we can preview. 
Okay, so this is what you're going through your plot drivers. This is what your page will look like. Okay, so you can see we fit well on the page. Um, I can see right now that we're missing a, um, you see we got right side rear and so on, uh, but we don't have front elevation on there. Um, I'm going to go back and find out why. Okay, and then we'll just go. So I'm just going to press escape to get out of that preview. I'm just going to cancel the print job. Okay, I'm going to go back into model space, the first tab, and rear front elevation. Okay, well, what if we just move uh, this a little closer? Let's see if that helps. Go back into our page one. Okay, and there it is. In fact, I can go back and move it a little farther. Move. Good enough. Okay. Now it's definitely going to print. Okay, now I could have done that through paper space as well, but the problem with doing that, or um, let's do it. Let's go M space. Okay, click on that view. Okay, now I can move. Okay, and I can just move it anywhere I want. So it's just, I've gone through paper space back into model space, and I can actually work, but it's dangerous. The minute that I touch my roller mouse, I've lost my uh, scaling, because I zoomed to a different view. Okay, so it's not a really good thing to do. Um, be very careful when you do it, otherwise you'll end up going back uh, to properties and rescaling everything. Okay, so now we're going to go back PS, P space. Okay, uh, we can go PP for plot, and everything's good. I'm just going to plot. Okay, so it's asking me, well, where do I want to make this? I'm making it into a PDF file. So where do I want to make this PDF file on my hard drive? Okay, I'm just going to go to my desktop, and I have a file called Tutorials. That I'm having a really hard time getting into. <clears throat> and I'm just going to save it in here. Okay, I'm going to call it. What do I want to call it? Um, let's just go drawing one. How's that? PDF, just so that we know that it's there. Okay. It's done its thing. Down at the bottom, plot and publish job complete. It's actually bringing up the PDF file for me. Okay, so this I can email to anybody. Um, I can put on the web. I can do all sorts of things with it. Okay, one to one. Let's go up to uh, full size, uh, fit page, actual size. Okay, so this is what, if we make this a little bigger, this is what it would actually look like on a 24 or a 36 by 24 page. Okay, so there's my title block. Okay, so it worked. I'm just going to close the PDF file now. Okay, that's it. Um, we've gone from uh, starting from scratch, you know, drawing lines, uh, doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, we've got some basic commands down pat. I need you, um, in order to go to the next set of tutorials, um, to make a drawing like this and email it to me. I need to know that you have grasped all of the um, principles and commands that um, we've been working with here. Um, if you haven't, I'm going to find out and I'll help you fix it. Um, and then we'll move on to the next tutorial, which I'm not going to spend much time with basic commands. I'm going, there's more to learn. There's no two ways about it. Um, but because you've got the basics down pat, so what I want you to do is I want you to start a drawing in your software, uh, do all the things that we did, um, set limits, everything that we've done from the very beginning. I'm just going to get you to email that to me. This is my email address, rrvisco at rviscodesign.com, or you can go to the website and pull up the email from there. Um, the next set of tutorials will be on this website. Um, and I will give you the link to get to it um, as soon as um, I'm confident that you've got all the 
if you are a um, experienced user just email me and tell me that okay but if you've taken this tutorial and you're starting from scratch um, you need to you may need some questions answered and so on so please email me okay thank you very much for watching all the tutorials um, see you later bye